Welcome to today's edition of the Author's Corner, brought to you by KNEO 91.7 FM, The Word, and I'm Roberta Foster. Today, I welcome Nina Rosner to Author's Corner, and she has written the book, The Respect Dare, 40 Days to a Deeper Connection with God and Your Husband, which is published by Thomas Nelson, and she'll tell you more about how to find the book at the end of the program. A little bit about Nina. She is the author of of the Respect Dare, which we're going to talk about today, but also with all due respect. She serves as the Executive Director of Greater Impact Ministries, and she has more than 20 years in the communications and training industry. She's also coached church staff, pastors, executives, and managers. And she and her husband and their three children live in Ohio. So, uh, Nina, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me, Roberta. Glad to be here. So one of the things that stands out to me is just in the title and that it's 40 days to a deeper connection with God and your husband. And obviously that's the right order in order for the relationship (laughs) with a husband to work, right? (laughs) Oh, yes. Because the Lord's ways are not our ways and men are not women. So, yes. (laughs) Why the word dare in your in your title? This is not easy. Um, it, so, yeah, I want to challenge people to uh, dare them, basically, to try doing some things, dying to self, um, speaking the truth in love, doing some things the way that God has us doing them. And um, honestly, the book came from uh, the impetus for it, the inspiration for it, if you will, came from watching The Love Dare uh, be used in the movie Fireproof, which mm. was just an excellent allegory uh, for how a Christ, how Christ loved the church, came mm-hmm. his life up um, you know, through the man. But I think, you know, my husband and I had dinner afterwards, and I said, you know, I think the girl got off the hook a wee bit there. <laughs> there was, you know, we got one side of that. <laughs> Yeah, they, they definitely both had some issues to work on there, um, and I'm, I'm not disputing the movie. It was great, but the Lord led me into this, and so here we are. Yeah, and right in the intro of your book, you talk about the privilege of being a wife as opposed to the drudgery of being one. So speak to us about that. You know, I think our culture does a really awesome job at destroying mm women and destroying men and it but if we have the lord's perspective if we see things through the lens of the holy spirit we see what an honor and a privilege it is to be part of creation in a way that men are not Mm -hmm. and i'm not you know dunking on men there at all but i'm saying that you know there is a wonderful life for us within the execution of the biology that we have, the role that we have to bring life into the world. And if we don't have children, we're still female. We have all the female hormones. Mm-hmm. I know it's not politically correct to talk about that right now, but it, mm-hmm. uh, uh, it's biology. Men bond through the uh, expression of vasopressin, which is a hormone that connects people when you overcome challenges and solve problems and conquer things. That's men. Women bind through oxytocin, which is eye contact and touch and, and listening and nurturing. And we're, I mean, I'm not saying men aren't nurturing and women don't, you know, face challenges, but we have significantly different mm-hmm. amounts of those hormones. Mm-hmm. And it is an honor to act in alignment with that. When we fight against it, we cause ourselves some issues. Mm-hmm. Well, one of the things you talk about in the book is that for many of us, we earn respect from somebody else. Um, and if the spouse isn't worthy of respect, that's kind of a challenge for them to uh, overcome that and and still follow the steps of your respect dare. So uh, talk to us about that. I'm so glad you brought that up. I, you know, on an average day, there's probably a, more than a handful of things that I do that are probably not respect worthy. And um, yet we judge other people. We don't judge ourselves as easily sometimes, but we'll look at other people and go, I don't respect him because he's not respect worthy. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not the question. The question is, am I a respectful person? So is my character 
reflecting the character of Christ regardless of who I'm dealing with. Anybody can treat someone who behaves perfectly Mm -hmm. and is, you know, all cleaned up with respect. Anybody can do that. What, What really is an example of the character of Christ within us is how do I treat people that are unkind, rude, tired, not caffeinated, you know, mm-hmm. all of that. How do I respond to people when they're not, quote unquote, worthy of respect? Mm-hmm. Well, it, that's a reflection of whether or not I'm a re- respectful person. And I think that reflects whether or not I'm listening to the Lord in that moment. Mm. And I also noticed in the beginning of your book, you have a few rules to employ uh, in order to make reading the Respect Dare and going through this process successful. Uh, One of them is called Have No Expectations of Your Spouse's Behavior. And that kind of goes with the uh, earning respect um, question that we just talked about. Uh, Expectations that, I mean, from the day somebody starts courting another person, I imagine there's expectations. But how do we get over those expectations that this marriage is going to be everything that somebody wants it to be? Right. So, yeah. So where am I getting my fulfillment? Mm -hmm. You know, anytime we're with somebody for extended periods of time, whether it's our spouse, our sister, living with a college roommate, growing up in a house with parents, like Mm -hmm. there's going to be conflict. There's going to be strife. If I'm turning to those people for my identity and my fulfillment, I'm going to be disappointed. The point is, is that it's okay to look for good and have you know, hope of good things, but the reality is, is I need to expect my identity, my fulfillment to come from God and who He says that I am, and then I'm going to be able to navigate challenges, which naturally come, because that's how life is. I'm going to be able to do that with a lot of ease instead of angst and stress and, and just remorse and anxiety. We have more to talk about with Nina Rosner regarding the book, The Respect Dare, 40 Days to a Deeper Connection with God and Your Husband, which is published by Thomas Nelson. And you're listening to Author's Corner, and I'm Roberta Foster. Nina, right now we live in a culture that seems to be trying really hard to remove the differences between the sexes. Um, And tell us why, as we are talking about a uh, connection with God and and a, a husband, why this is something that isn't going to work very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've lost our collective mind. Um, yeah. you know, if you look at the, the Netherlands, who, you know, in the workplace, they've done, they're further along than most countries, and, and they've got more equality in the workplace. What you see over there is really interesting. You see more gender-specific, traditional things happening. Mm-hmm. When the freedom is there to do anything you want, you're not seeing more women bricklayers. You're not seeing more male nurses. It's traditional roles coming up. Because we at the mm-hmm. bo- end of the day, you cannot fight our biology and how we're created. So I don't have a problem with you know creating laws and opportunities for women. I think that's awesome. The Proverbs 31 woman was incredible. Mm-hmm. She was a businesswoman. She was brilliant. And at the same time, women have a very specific, naturally occurring biological impact on infants that men don't naturally have, mm-hmm. and it's based on the o- oxytocin. So God knew what he was doing when he created us, and I pray for our culture literally every single day because it's so sad to see people struggling with, okay, well, who am I in this? And I don't need to be a man, or I don't need to be a woman. It's like, well, okay, what are you going to be then? Like, what determines your course mm. of whatever? And even if you change that, you're still going to be in, con- you're now going to be in serious conflict with your core biology. Like, it's just really sad. One of the words that comes up as we read into your book is the uh, issue of forgiveness, the importance of forgiveness. And how does that work in relationship to learning respect? If I am a person who has received forgiveness from God, then hopefully I can then extend that to others. And all too often we sit in a seat of judgment instead of forgiveness and grace. It shows up as disrespect. Mm. We'll be critical. We'll interrupt. We'll take charge because we think they're not capable. And I'm not saying that, you know, women don't have, shouldn't have a voice. We definitely should. 
in our marriages. But to denigrate or view our spouse with contempt and treat them disrespectfully means that we haven't received the grace of God at a level that's possible for us. I'm not questioning people's faith, but I'm saying there's more. Mm -hmm. You know, I can give out what I've got within me. Mm -hmm. And so I can have patience for my husband's imperfections, as I would hope that he would have for mine. Mm -hmm. And so receiving God's forgiveness then becomes something I can give to other people. Mm -hmm. It's really important. And give us an idea of the biggest pitfalls to respect and how to overcome them. I guess we'll probably just take one at this point. (laughs) (laughs) I think the biggest thing in the way is the myth that if I respect my husband, I'm not going to have a voice. Uh, And yeah, so it doesn't mean that you don't have boundaries. It doesn't mean that you don't have a yes that's yes and a no that's no. It doesn't mean that you obey him as if he's God because he's not. It means that you are kind and gentle in your communication with him. You're also direct. You're also truthful. Mm-hmm. And and so those pieces, when they all come together, they they avoid the pitfalls of a misperception of the concept of respect. You don't lose anything. I'm living proof, and I've worked with tons of people over the years that have totally overhauled their marriages because they've grown to understand what this actually means Mm. and what it's about. It works. God was not wrong. (laughs) Well, you give us 40 days, and I assume 40 dares. Uh, As you were putting your book together, was there one of those dares that really uh, was a challenge for you or something that you learned a lot through? You know, I think the worst experience there's a story in there about a woman who has a miscarriage and that's actually one of my stories Mm. it was a really difficult experience Mm -hmm. and um looking back on all of that now um and the you know my husband was on a business trip and he was grieved that he was gone for that Mm -hmm. um and having the appreciation of the tenderness and you know the bible calls it the mystery of a man with a woman you know men are amazing And I think probably the biggest mistake I've made in my marriage and the thing that God drug me kicking and screaming through a study on respect for like seven years before the book even was birthed. And I I think the big thing was learning that men hurt the same way that we do. They have feelings just like we do. Mm -hmm. We're better probably at articulating them and we're given more permission to express them in our culture. But men are amazing. And I've really grown to honor and respect men in general while respecting myself in mm-hmm. a way that I didn't before. Mm. So I think that's part of the process is can we can we be that uh, within ourselves and then extend that to others? And I think that comes through the experience of Jesus mm-hmm. in our lives. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. So once again, I've been talking with Nina Rosner about the Respect Dare, 40 Days to a Deeper Connection with God and Your Husband. So Nina, how can people connect with you and find out more about your book? So the book's on any of your retailers. You can grab it from Amazon or you can come to our website and get some free stuff, greaterimpact.org. Okay. Again, the Respect Dare, 40 Days to a Deeper Connection with God and Your Husband. And we've been talking with Nina Rosner. We certainly thank Thomas Nelson for giving us a copy of the book to talk about. And it's sure been a pleasure talking with you today, Nina. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me, Roberta. And if you missed any part of today's interview, um, listeners, if you'd like to hear it again, you can find it on your favorite podcast provider or KNEO.org. So join us again next time on Author's Corner. I'm Roberta Foster. God's Word speaks truth. God's Word speaks life. And God's Word speaks to us today. Hi, I'm Pastor John Marins of the Granby Christian Church. Each week we explore God's Word together on In the Shadow of Your Wings, a radio broadcast on KNEO. Tune in each Saturday at 6.45 p.m. to hear the show. And if you ever miss it, you can always view the archive online at KNEO.org. We also have the program available as a podcast as well, so you can listen anytime, anywhere. It's available from Sky High 
Podcast Network. I invite you to check out the show and learn more about our incredible God and how He cares for you. You can trust Him. You can depend on Him. And you can rest in the shadow of His wings. 